that's a private joke between <laughs> Gary Bar and I. We- Hello, this is Evil O, and today we are talking to an artist who I really, really admire. I say that about everyone, but they wouldn't be on Evil O if I didn't admire them. (laughs) Uh, Sujith Sundaran Nalini, otherwise known as Sujith SN. You prefer Sujith SN? Yeah, that's easy. Okay, that's what you go by. Okay. Yeah. I just want to show, I really love your work and Sujith does a lot of watercolors. So you inspired me while I went out and I bought some watercolors. <laughs> so what did you See, I got watercolors. I've got them all. Look how pretty they are. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. And, a, and a mixing thing too. I also got a brush. Where's my brush? So maybe you can teach me how to paint one of these days. So anyway, okay. So your work, you know, I say you do watercolors, but you do more than that, I believe. So where do you want to start? I mean, your first paintings I became aware of were going back to like 2006, 2007. Yeah. Do you want to start there with some of those early paintings? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I started watercolor maybe a little later than uh, 2008, yeah, 2008, 7, 8, uh, you know, like uh, just right next to, my, like when when I start my, uh, you know, when I finish my uh, works for the solo show, the first solo show which I had in Sakshi in 2008, so the show postponed it for twice, you know, for some reason. So I got some time. So I have my the pastel, like I usually work with pastel, you know, dry pastel and uh, charcoal. Those are ready. And then I have little time. So I, I thought I'll start something. Uh, I wanted to experiment something in a completely different medium. Also the, uh, you know, in one point, like uh, um, I'm using watercolor for, sorry, the uh, dry pastel for a long time, charcoal and dry pastel. I felt uh, some sort of a predictability of that medium, which really makes me bored, bored with that. You know, like I can predict what, the, what is the, the result. The dry pastel. Yeah. So okay. the result I can uh, predict, you know, like what actually it's going to be, or look like. So I, I felt I, 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 I should work with something which is, uh, you know, like I, I felt that. At the same time, there are people, uh, there are uh, my friends who, who are, working with watercolor in a smaller format and also. Uh, so I, I, I felt watercolor is the one which I really love from the beginning, but I'm very bad in it. So I, I, I never try or I, even I tried in my BFA or uh, BFA uh, when I'm studying. But uh, I, I got always, you know, like it's a, it's a, very difficult for me. So I can't get the result, you know, like I, uh, um, what I really wanted to. So okay. I left that and then, but I really love to see somebody's work, you know, like I love to, uh, so that's in my mind. So then it came out. Uh, well, I, I was looking at your PDF, yeah. but I remember some of these old works. So I have to refer to my notes, I'm afraid. But in 2007, you did something, uh, let us build ourselves a city and tower with its top in heaven. Of course, refers to the Tower of Babel. And you've come back to that a couple times. But I think I think the first Tower of Babel you did, that was not watercolor, was it? No, that was in pastel. That was was in pastel. Yeah. And then you had some others, um, a place called City. And what yes. I noticed is back in those days, you were doing much more complicated. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You, always do, you always work on paper, correct? Yeah, it's all mostly, most of my works are on paper. Yeah. You always work on paper, yeah. but they yeah. were much more complicated in that there were a lot of little objects and things yeah. to look at scattered about. Yeah. And it seems like as you progressed, you uh-huh. simplified Yep. Besides switching to watercolor, but I would say simplified in a good way. It became more powerful yep. in its simplification. Uh-huh. 
Would you agree yeah. or am I making blah, blah? No, actually it's uh, true because, uh, uh, you know, like uh, working with a single image or with a minimal way of expressing something, it's the difficult part uh, for any, anyone. Like, because I read somewhere in a, uh, an artist interview which somebody says, uh, you know, like uh, someone write a quick letter to someone, like see uh, many things in a four or five sheets. And then last, it's, she, she has written that like, uh, I'm so sorry, I don't have time to make a small letter. You know, it's because yeah, yeah, yeah. when you have certain things, when you have many things in, in, in your mind, you can do it in a, in a, you know, like you can put out, pour everything in a, in a surface and look at, you know, and, and you get a, a concession as a, you know, a, a, an outside a, a kind of a absurdity, which is really helps you, you know, like you put everything in a, in a surface and, uh, and then you look at, uh, you know, like, so that's a little more easy for me, actually. Uh, so I felt, okay. you know, I have to edit certain thing and um, come to the point, you know, like come to with a minimum, uh, uh, let's say with a maximum impact, which I felt uh, the, this. Uh, there was a work you did in 2009. Yeah which was dry pastel, actually. It wasn't watercolor, but it was very simple. Mm -hmm. It was in your PDF, but it reminded me of the work that you sort of became known for, these very haunted landscapes, oftentimes with solo figures or just mm -hmm. two figures in a landscape. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, to me, when I see that, that looks like a transitionary work and you did it in dry yep. pastel, and then you must mm -hmm. have thought, well, this would be better. Yep suited to a watercolor medium yes it's called uh, the work called dialogue which is uh, two different figure you know do two different uh, element which is in a single plane and and the distance between these two uh, i arrange as a uh, you know kind of a theatrical uh, mode you know like it's they are like uh, actors in a uh, two corner of a stage right like and then the third person is you or the viewer, you know, so um, I think, yeah, I'm back. You are oh, stuck in between. I was stuck. You were stuck. Maybe we both, it says, <laughs> oh, it says, no, it says me. It says my internet connection is unstable. Yeah. That's because of these clouds coming in because we're having okay. a thunderstorm roll in. But oh, that's... yeah, here also. It's, uh, it's raining here. I forgot Bombay. to ask where you are. I assume you're in Kerala. No, no, I'm in Bombay, Mumbai. Oh, you're in Mumbai. Yeah, okay. yeah. it looks like Kerala, but it's Mumbai. <laughs> but you're, you're initially yeah, from Kerala, right? You're I'm from, from Kerala. I'm from a border district called Palakkad, uh, which is nearby Tamil Nadu. And then yeah, you studied in Thrissur. I did my BFA from Thrissur, College of Fine Arts Thrissur, and then MFA from uh, University of Hyderabad. It's Hyderabad. Yeah. yeah. So you're one of the few people I talk to who haven't been through the Baroda. Maybe. Ah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. You have not been maybe. through the Baroda. No, that, even I didn't apply for that, but... Uh, okay. Even, yeah. I don't think that's necessary. To me, Kerala has such a strong, incredibly strong visual arts culture. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if you need to go to Baroda if you're from Kerala. The Art <laughs> College of Trivandrum just seems to crank out, I use the word crank out, but just some incredible artists mm -hmm. yeah. have come out of there. So Yeah, that's true. They have a very good dome. Yeah, but when and when I study Thrissur, I'm I'm the second batch of uh, BFA. You know, it's a it's in a, it's in this early stage of uh, uh, as a college. Before that, there was a diploma. Then it turned to be yeah uh, BFA. So there you are know, problems, you know. but uh, we we somehow uh, somehow manage with the library and all. Uh, there is Lalitkal Academy Library, uh, which which opens till uh, five o'clock. So after this, after but, the, this but I noticed like my first time in Kerala, I think was 2002. Uh -huh. And I had traveled all through the north prior to that. And I had been to some galleries in Delhi and Mumbai. Uh -huh. But I really didn't see a whole lot in back in those days of what I would consider more of a contemporary scene. And then I got to Kerala and it was just like, oh, there's so many artists here who are really doing <laughs> these amazing things, you know. Uh -huh. So yeah, okay. Yeah, so we have, we have actually a strong uh, culture, um, visual, uh, you know, that uh, visual art background, you know, that from the 
but people won't stay there they will go to other state and like me like they go there mostly most of them now now things are changing but earlier people go out and they establish or whatever yeah right. so but it's because it's a literacy you know literature oriented uh, literature literature dominated uh, this thing so when you show a painting also they will ask a story of uh, the painting right like so you, everything you, they connect with you won story. a couple of awards in kerala right before you left you couple won of? some you won a couple of awards in kerala right lalikala awards or something in kerala <laughs> before you left Yeah. I think that was on your yeah, CD yes, or yes, something. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I right. I was I, I got the state award for Kerala Lalit Kala Academy award twice. Okay. You know, twice. Twice as a yeah, student as a student I got and when I'm studying only like when I'm student when I'm third year BFA or something like I got the main category award also. And then I won uh, yeah. So it helped did you, me. Did you enjoy studying in Hyderabad? Yes uh see again uh, there is uh, hyderabad was in not i can't say it's an early stage but no not any you know like background like uh, shantini ketan or uh, baroda have you know not that sort of uh, alumni they have but now they since changed because a lot of artists are coming from hyderabad but when i'm studying it's not that big in in terms of uh, you know alumni and, you know you know industry or something But so how did how did you initially connect with Geeta Mera at Sakshi Gallery? Oh well, yeah, Geeta actually uh, when I got the state award, uh, they the academy sent a catalog to the gallery, you know, okay. which I don't know, which I don't know. And one catalog she has a few of Anusha, Anusha Gowde, she um, she's a friend of. So uh, I think uh, they both uh, uh seen and then they contact uh, uh, through that uh, there is a number in it right like my phone number that's my house number landline so they called my mother and they took my la- mobile phone number uh, then I, then they called me and i've sent some cd which is uh, which uh, you know when i'm studying enough for uh, second mfa you know second year mfa sorry first year first year second semester of mfa so i was little scattered you know when my language was little uh, my visual language was little scattered i'm doing i'm right. experimenting many things so i sent the cd i know that i'm not going to get it now because it's a uh, little scattered you know i'm not even a, but it's I'm natural to be scattered like that when you're young i think yeah, if you're not yeah. scattered then it's almost yeah, a failing because yeah. you should be scattered when you're young that's because true. you're exploring yeah so i then they got it and they 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 told us they told me that like uh, we will call you maybe next year or something uh, or we will meet and i i, I felt it's uh, you know it's maybe it's gone it's over or whatever but uh, they called me in after a year you know they wanted to see my work when they had a show in dajis uh, in uh, hyderabad dajis rao's show so they called me and they asked me can we you know, see your work or something like that. then usha came and that I'm, i had only one work one large work you know so she have seen that and she felt uh, maybe <laughs> this guy have something so so then they offered me a show and uh, i got what was work. what was the name of your first exhibition at sakshi the name of the show yeah the city and the tower the city and the tower yes yeah, yeah. so Actually, went... it's a it's a long title then the you know we have to cut it you know like you went a, back to your um tower of babel yeah yes. what yeah. i've seen you've done like at least three or four of those yes yes but by the time you got to sakshi were you only doing the watercolor work then uh no i uh, the the first solo show have a uh, 80% or 90% or uh, dry pastel work you know that's okay. kind of very few watercolor and i i Some noticed in one of your works you mixed watercolor and charcoal which i mm. found interesting because that doesn't seem to be done that often uh, you no know, those mediums don't seem I, to go I, together I, I necessarily felt, but I, I, that i felt uh, later it's uh, uh, my inability to uh, address something you know which is uh, you know certain area uh, if i mix uh, dry paste or charcoal i felt uh, you know it's some somewhere i'm escaping something you know I, i'm running and running away from some sort of a uh, thing so i i i am more like a purist mentality you know like okay. purist 
so i felt uh, you know i even if you want to have a dark very pitch dark or a vanta black sort of a thing you can create uh, uh, out of watercolor you know but you need a continuous practice but you will get it that black also so i felt you know there uh, somewhere i'm uh, you know i'm i really don't want to do that again so i just stopped it in that particular moment you know like then i didn't do yeah that's a <laughs> that's i think a... this was from your uh, second uh, show uh, Uh, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah. This is Psalms of Silence. Yeah, right? yeah, it's it's of Psalms of Silence. I have I have two of these. I know that. I know it's. I big, have two of these. I thought I would show you. I mean, they're yeah. really favorites of mine. I love them yeah. Even so I like much, them. and they're really to me some of your better smaller works. You know. <laughs> yeah, you told me that. Too. Oh, I feel lucky. I think I bought them from Sachi from Gita. Yeah, I'm this one. Sure. Yeah, and the early one. Yeah, I know. I remember one guy who done and. In a in a plane. So your second show was called Psalms of Silence, or no? Uh, no, that's a uh, I think fourth fourth uh, uh, yeah fourth solo fourth yeah fourth or fifth yeah. No, I forgot. Yeah, I what think was the it's full a, name? A Vadera show. It's a Vadera show in 2012, like actually. Oh, 2012. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Psalms yeah. of it's Silence and fourth, Dark. Uh, fourth, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. But I did buy these from Sakshi, I think I bought. Yeah, this you bought it from Sakshi. Okay. Lovely, so, you know, little, okay. Yeah. So bit. they were included in one show, but then you ended up having a show of that title. Yeah. No, Tara. no. This is before that. That show before the show, I did some group show or something like with okay. Sakshi. Yeah. So have you had shows that have traveled between Sakshi and Vadera? Yeah, I had a a, a preview here in uh, in but uh, Sakshi in two uh, thousand. Uh, 17 yeah 17 and then the, that show gone to uh, badera in the same year march so yeah okay i want to just ask you about the ideas behind your work one reason i really love the work uh -huh. is to use a lack of a better word they're haunting many uh -huh. of your many of your images are just haunting you know these landscapes where you have a building standing on sort of a farmland and there's a a glow inside of the shed in the distance uh -huh. or you know there's a solo figure with a lamp you know standing in what appears to be a swamp or a bog or something like that uh -huh. i love those kind of images i just love them you know but why do you love them i guess that's the <laughs> question why do you love them you know sometimes it's not uh, even loving them it's uh, something which uh, which you really wanted to show it you know like some something which is which is uh, i really i can't even see that there is a narration in it but uh, not necessarily a linear narration you know like something which is uh, uh, which sometimes leads a certain um, mm -hmm. certain incident or, or very personal uh, uh incidents which uh, which i had it uh, not with war or any other things but uh, uh my father was in army you know like so uh, he died on the service in uh, when i was oh 16. he did yeah oh, but not in a okay. war or anything It's okay a, so he had an accident and uh, then he died and then how I old were you when that happened i was 16 years old yeah, yeah that that yeah. hurts yeah. that 10th standard so yeah 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 then i i got that uh, you know i have an opportunity to join uh, army so i went there i some some who managed to run away from or uh, i convinced them it's not my thing and i i'm back to kerala and then so you didn't want to join the army you wanted to be an okay. artist right no, I, yeah i don't i'm not sure about i wanted to be an artist also because i i i'm from a village no like so there is no such a artist sort of a idea Uh, over there you know very common very normal you know like jobs are there like not artists so 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 i'm curious because when you come from a village like that yeah when do you first get the idea that there is even such a thing as an artist and when do you decide <laughs> you want to be one you know because uh, i grew up uh, in kind of a city environment so it was a little yeah. more normal yeah but for for us it's uh, see again uh, we we 
the uh, the idea of artist in in kerala it's not the image of artist uh, is um, it's built up on some uh, some sort of a cliche uh, images you know like somebody who who with a long beard and you know jibba and all this thing and that yeah. it's a completely a different uh, idea of uh, you know and the films and also in that manner uh, and they are very obsessed with something and i yeah. understand the stereotype now you will be yeah, angry yeah. at me but when <laughs> when, <laughs> when up here yeah. in udaipur when we drive around if we see somebody walking on the road who kind of looks really sort of poor and like they don't have any place to sleep we will make a joke and say carolyn artist <laughs> <laughs> I know it's really evil. That's a private joke between Gandhi really and I. We say Carolyn artist. <laughs> so it's true actually. Maybe I don't know. I'm not in that. Uh, I'm not in that uh, shape and at least. Right. So right. Uh, that is true actually. In a in a way, there are people in, in that. See, they they like that. It's it's not nothing wrong in that. They they wanted to become you know that uh, they they yeah yeah. There is nothing wrong, but. that is a uh, stereotype which which roaming uh, you know like it's there in kerala so nobody wants their son or daughter to become something right like so become uh, one of that you know sort of a thing so so nobody will promote also like if you wanted to become an artist they, they don't really uh, you know uh, they don't really support you they don't encourage that, yeah. you so i came from uh, this army thing and i somehow i wanted to study something related with art you know so i came back and then i um, i did some uh, draftsman civil course you know the one who makes plan and elevation for the buildings you know like it's a two years course called itc industrial training course so i okay. did that and i was working in a construction company in kerala so there are few small small companies so I'm, i was working uh, so in between i met a sir uh, a teacher who really gave me a, a confidence you know like his name is ajit k from palakkad so he really pushed me that like he told me that he he actually studied from baroda uh to andhra and baroda so in a peak time of radical uh, movement and all that uh, you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so that, that time so he actually pushed me that like you should study art you have something to you know do it here so that really uh, helped me you know like because otherwise even uh, I, the, the village where i'm coming from i don't think uh, we have you know that sort of a confidence even you know like to to take art as a career or art as a whatever you know so that's, that's well, you've, that you've person, come tremendously far yeah From yeah, your maybe, village yeah. background, and now you've had a show in New York at Icon yes. Gallery. That was just last year, I think, right? Yeah. 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 How did that go? What was the name of that show? That show is called uh, the Seeds of Silence. Seeds of Silence. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's in two thousand eight, nineteen. That's a big gal. That's a big gallery. Did you fill the whole gallery? No, oh, no. It's only one uh, floor. Uh, okay. yeah one floor the down floor there is a another uh, pakistani artist uh, astroy okay so you were in the upper level but yeah, even okay. that the upper level is still large it's quite huge yeah yeah but i had that works because i i was working for that show almost one and a half to two years so i have i had work and my works are large so you need a gap no between the work so so i kept that so i'm asking all the questions why don't you just tell me like cuz you're going to send me images why don't you just tell me maybe of some of your favorite paintings that you think were special and okay. tell me why can you do that yeah i'll do that i'll do that but uh, it's little difficult because uh, i did around uh, 300 to 400 uh, you know like uh, number of like even if you can't count small work as well try to talk about ones you have images of to send me yeah maybe uh, every time they again will come to the tower maybe tower was okay. a major element in my all my you know like uh, early works so the tower which i started doing because of uh, uh, when i see tower of babel you know the uh, you know the uh, brugels and then idea which which the, the idea of uh, man mankind making a tower to heaven and then 
you know still that uh, that sort of a fantasy or which which still we have in our mind you know you know we 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 try to become or we try to create a some sort of a tower to something you know like to create some sort of a vanity or uh or to to heaven or whatever so i think that and uh, you know and then the this confusion of uh, tongue and all this uh, uh idea which really makes me to start but when i start uh, uh, brugel's tower uh, i had uh, i really wanted to see as the I, 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 me as a draftsman you know how good i am as a, um, as uh, when i see uh, when you when you when you read a, a master's work or when you or when you start doing a master's painting you will go you travel e- inch by inch of that painting so you 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 came to know what you are and then how far from you to that person you know like so you you replace yourself in a certain part and you'll see that how you could have done it you know or you know so the difficult right. difficulties you face so that actually you know, made me to do the first one and then i did the complete design by myself in the second one uh in the time of uh, when i'm studying in hyderabad the, there is a the, the place where i stay it's called oh, the university is like it's called uh vachibodi so vachibodi was changing actually vachibodi was not this big when you go now it's a completely different city uh, uh you know as a city but when i was there it's it's in between city and village you know it's not completely uh, but there are things some unknown machine is coming and working in a very barren land which you don't even know what actually they are doing so right sort of a, you know and then uh, there are many construction sites over there you know dlf uh, building now it's a big big building there so when i so i had a small camera i go there and click images and i go with my sketchbook and i draw uh, continuously you know like i i have a cycle so i go there and it's close by so like 3 km 4 km uh, so i'll go and then i'll make a lot of drawing out of uh, a lot of my friends who sometimes they also come with me so then i really you know like i use that and i create a new tower so that's one of the uh, important work for me in my career you know like uh, which really um, made me to you know go for the well you you have like three towers of babel that are like Uh, who did the original like, i mean like the famous tower of babel the european brugel brugel, brugel brugel yeah brugel. right and it's like but then you also have kind of a tower that has rockets coming out of it yeah in yeah, fact I, i bought an etching of yours that was like yeah, that yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i remember you know, that yeah i know that so yeah, but you also have a thing you have that yeah. but you have a painting like that also yeah. so yeah. what's the story with the tower with the rockets coming no actually it's a, a it's again it's kind of a surreal uh, you know sort of an idea which uh, which two different thing i'm mixing in you know, you know I'm, i'm fusing you know to show something which is very surreal in in a you know. so it's kind of a nightmare sort of a thing it's not a you know but uh, uh, whatever you do like whatever the dream sort of a uh, work uh, we have to we, when i'm doing it i try to convince the viewer you know i try, I, i try that you know like to otherwise it won't work you know it's completely illogical in in a, in a ground so but when you when you do it you have to show it as a testament you know it's it's happened somewhere and i've seen it so there that something which i really use it you know like so these are two thing and it's not possible at all from a tower there are planes or rockets are coming out it's not so somewhere and again this this kind of a fear which i very underlined very uh, subtle fear which i really wanted to create through my work early works especially uh, and that kind of an anxiety which which i had it when i was in one point in, in my life you know like i was so scared i was so uh, scared of uh, night you know like the, the so the the problem start from the evening you know like i i feel, oh you were afraid of the dark yeah i was yeah i was very uh, because still when you go to villages you feel that but in city there is no such you know like, well do you have any reason to be afraid of the dark in the village there uh, aren't leopards down there or anything no no nothing it's not that village also it's it's not, more like uh, boots 
it's Good actually sh- a body feel no like there is no <laughs> such it's not yeah maybe some other story some or some boots yeah, some ghosts or something story, child uh, yeah childhood story or something which is really yeah, yeah, yeah. on me and then i also felt that oh i may, i may not get sleep today or something like you know like <laughs> right uh, something is a small thing but it's really you know the evening uh, so that uh, that light also i used in most of my works the evening light you know like twilight which is also sometimes i use as a you know as a tool to uh, you know disturb or something like to make something little uh, flippery you know, little what you call that uh, to the viewers uh, you know like yeah it's a transitional state yeah yes in yeah, fact there's the- actually a word that's they use in ecology or in biology crepuscular crepuscular okay. means an animal that is not nocturnal and not diurnal they don't prowl around at night or during the day they're crepuscular they're active oh, in yeah, the I evenings i always love that word i never <laughs> get a chance to use it I know. a word i remember from bi- biology class when i was younger so. yeah i never heard this like it's interesting and uh, uh, tagore did a lot of uh, you know like writing you know writing about that time you know that particular moment. yeah and his <clears> works <throat> also in that twilight mood like which is very so it's in between ah, but so you can you can hide uh, you can hide uh, you can have these suggestions uh, you can have a, a suggestion of colors you know which is which is more effective than uh, in a day or night you know night you everything is in a dark Uh, this thing and in between color you know you can use it in a very neutral sort of um well you were saying before that your work may be hinted at narrative in some i see that i i would say that they're suggestive of narrative mm. you know you you get yeah. a feel that you're seeing like sort of uh a sentence in a story but you don't know the whole story you're only being given yeah. a sentence of it no i make you know, I, and, i make that actually i i if that my work is having a kind of a linear narration which 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 may have it some of them but i try to cut that link you know i try to confuse in between you know i put something which is it with may com- confuse the viewer right you know, at least at least some mark or some line of uh, some color or something like a void uh, kind of a gap between two figure or uh, some tool some mechanism which i used to you know distract the direct narration you know which i really don't because i uh, i i i i feel like to uh, you know i or i try to do a painting which is more more like a experiential level you know it's not more than a uh, kind of a narration kind of a support of some conceptual uh, this thing you know some big text you need to know your work you know which i really uh, try to cut that you know like it's it should be without anything it should be, it should work it should it. speak on its own yeah yeah you know it should speak on uh, its own yeah, yeah. it's like uh, i i seriously like one quotation recently i have uh, read uh, by mark rocco you know like painting is not a picture of an experience it is experience you know? right yeah yeah that's so, the way to think about it i think yeah. so really i i quote. believe <laughs> some more but <laughs> yeah. it's not easy to make you know it's not that easy to make because for me because so uh, it's you need to be have some organic uh, you know like structure for that you know like if something is very artificial or something is very you know come out from the this thing and so there is a perfect balance you have to create uh, in terms of visual you know in terms of design which is very important you know which, which takes a lot of time you know even i take more time to decide my format than uh, uh, format than my any other oh, i know i know <laughs> one series that I've noticed a creeping motif throughout your work over the years that we didn't talk about and that is the line of marching soldiers you had yeah. one of those in a very yeah. early work from yeah. 2007 I think yeah. but you've even yeah. had those in later works more recent works yeah. what's that all about it seems to me like you're discussing authoritarianism there yeah. which is 
kind of strange because it doesn't fit the haunting element so yep. much. It gets mm -hmm. a little more political, but there still is something a bit haunting in that because you don't know what they represent. You know they're authoritarian in some way, maybe, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you don't know really. You know, these are these are actually again uh, my my uh, my response to the army as an idea. You know, the, the ah, okay, the, okay. You know, something which is this manual move. You know, the very regimental, very clean and very tidy. Uh, you know, tidy this thing, which really disturbs me. You know, because it's it shows some sort of an obsess obsession with the with the uh, that sort of a uh, image which which is keep repeating, you know, like which, which creates yeah, yeah. some sort of the same amount of tension, which is uh, when you see a chaos, you know, something. So I, I am more into that in, in that particular. And also the, the, uh, the influence from this Giacomo Bala, the futurism, you know, the, um, uh, you know, the futurist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, futurist, sure. Yeah. So Italian I, I also that, uh, most of uh, you know there are a certain uh, idea also like i try to create a sound you, you know, know mussolini like, like the futurists <laughs> he was yeah. very pro futurist just so okay. you know <laughs> i don't know that yeah he actually the, the 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 reputation sometimes creates some sort of an animated uh, motion you know like something which is which create a sound also you know like a, a, a music sort of sound which is uh, in a correct interval there is a Changes. Well, your dad was in the military, so you have a particular experience there. But, yeah. you know, in my life, because I grew up during the Vietnam War, and I've, I was mm -hmm. against the Vietnam War, like nearly all young people were back then. Mm -hmm. And so we protested and whatever. Um, so there's this feeling that the military was something bad in the mm -hmm. U.S. But then at the same time, as you get older, you realize it's something you need, you know. So it's... Yeah. it's um, it's double-edged, you know. <laughs> There's something rather frightening about the whole military thing yeah, that yeah. as an artist you want to shy away from. But then at the same time, as I've gotten older, I realize if you keep your civilization together, you rather need a military, oh. you know. So I don't know. Like, don't know how uh, I'm, in, that, but. I'm in a transitional, uh, you know. I don't know that, actually. It's various. It's maybe a... A very romantic idea of uh, not having any in the army or something, but I feel it's it's a very political uh, tool to have uh, a big army and big weapon and all these things, and and especially in this particular ultra nationalist uh, time, you know, like it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, what whatever you do here, then they'll say what what is happening in the border, you know, which I really don't. Well, there's something like, you know, my first words about those paintings was they looked authoritarian. Now, I have no reason to know they're authoritarian because there's no symbolism there that tells me they're authoritarian. They're just people marching in a row. They're well-organized, yep. disciplined troops, which uh -huh. could be anything. They could yeah. be, I don't know. No, no, any any sort of an action, which I, after that I did some crowd which is moving in a single plane. So it's always okay. like a, a different people in the same structure uh, and it looked like a single entity, you know, like it's almost like a train, different uh, 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 bogey and then it become a single, uh, we call train, you know, like it's a different uh, structure, you know, to different body. So it's the right. same as uh, I consider this, uh, you know, the, the crowd as a, you know, single structure, you know, which go from one to another, but people come and go you know and i did you something. had one you had one with sort of a blue wall it almost reminded me of the wall that trump is building <laughs> you know which one <laughs> i'm talking funny. about it's yeah. like a blue wall but there's i think that's not military i think it's people with construction hats yeah, or something yeah, yeah. it's, a, it's top, right yeah it's okay. from hyderabad okay. uh, there are many walls uh, over there in the you know, hyderabad one once i was there you know like a lot of walls you know, when the barren yeah. land becomes suddenly, a, you know, covered with a wall. And people are, they are doing something inside. We don't know what they are doing. Some dust and something will come out, some smoke. Yeah, you never know what they're doing. Yeah, so some sort of, a, you know, that sort of a anxiety. Or the that. other thing I really liked was your Archipelago series, the one where you had the two figures next to a swimming pool. Yep. They were on opposite sides of, oh, uh -huh. that's a gorgeous painting. Thank you. That's just gorgeous. 
Yeah, it's again uh, the, the those works actually I started uh, in 2007 I did that work which I I am staying in Bombay and this property ad which comes in a particular day in uh, in in a, a newspaper uh, as a supplement. So that uh, that uh, newspaper uh, the that ad which which comes with a uh, you know the, the uh, with some sort of a very romantic very. Uh, uh, you know idea of living you know which uh, which is we know that that's not true but uh, we as a you know as an uh, advertisement like what uh, we 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 try to believe in it you know we, we we try to believe you know there will be a possibility of uh, you know that sort of a very beautiful plush uh, you know uh, plus vegetable vegetation you know so that somewhere lead me to do all this, you know, like that whole set of work, which is uh, with the property ad, uh, based on property ads, the, the kind of um, uh, fantasy they sell through the ad. It always amazes me when I go to uh, Goa mm -hmm. and you drive down the main highway and, you know, there were beautiful views to the ocean in so many places at one time. Mm -hmm. And then you would start going there and you went down the street you saw all these hoardings and all the hoardings had pictures of beautiful views to the ocean, but they, <laughs> but they blocked the actual view to the ocean. You couldn't see the actual view. We always wanted to do a miniature like that sometime, but we never got around to it. That's what, yeah. That's same, same as, you know, like they, they build and they sometimes show some sort of a waterfall or something, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some sort of a, uh, uh, this thing, fountain. That I I exaggerated into a little more, you know, to show the original as as you know waterfall sort of. So, so how are... should I how should I paint? <laughs> you started, you know, watercolor is yeah 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 you can like do this. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> you should. I think we've way. talked too long. We should probably end it here. <laughs> I'm using a very good medium. I'm using um. Watercolor. What's mm -hmm. the brand? Soldier. Soldier <laughs> watercolor and yeah. uh, an iced tea. Iced tea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I Good didn't have your, any water on. For your skin, maybe. Huh? Good for your skin. Isn't that maybe. lovely? <laughs> anyway, yeah, Sujit, yeah. it's nice talking to you. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. So. Yep. Unless you have anything else, you will have anything else to say? No, actually, the the, the watercolor thing you already mentioned <laughs> it. So like, okay, Sajith, yeah. say goodbye. Yeah, thank you. Say goodbye. Goodbye wave. and uh, wave. Okay. Thank you. Thank this you is Swazo X from Udaipur. Goodbye from Ibo. And Lowe. one more thing. One more thing. What? One more thing before what? we. What? My son is a. Uh, son, like you, actually, you know, because I, when I see you in our TV, like when you yeah, are in the yeah. so he always say that, uh, you know, when it, when is yours coming? You, you are. Uh, oh, well, you see, it just came. <laughs> so he said, so I'll tell him to say hi. Okay, Sujit. Bye. See bye, you. Bye. Bye.